Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, my gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline 249. Rob, go back here. Happy that you're joining us. Honored and humbled if you came back, like, for reals. It is a uh, Sabbath Saturday. There are no days off uh, from our best life possible. So let's get after it. First things first, I'm still the realist. I'm also productive, right? I mean, that's not a real sexy word, productive, but I am, right? And I would tell you that that is, when people ask me what the biggest change in my life over the last 249 days is I'm productive every day. No more of this crying, feeling sorry for myself, taking, taking, you know, hours and then half days and days. It just can get you worked up. Um, all right. On to our thankies. So I don't know if this happens at your guy's house, but... He's on TV right now, Bob Mills. Bob Mills owns a bunch of furniture stores here in this area. When I say this area of the country, I'm talking from like Oklahoma down into Texas. He's on here every weekend, and he's running a special right now. And before I start talking about Bob Mills, but you know, right? Like if, if you have a routine where you watch the news in the morning, then you kind of get the same commercials over and over again. And when you do, it's kind of like those people become part of your family. Like, you know, like I know Bob, you know, the people from Sunshine Furniture. My kids, I would joke about it, all this stuff because we know all the jingles. We know what they're going to say. We know all the car dealership. Anyway, Bob Mills is always just dressed in the nines, got this beautiful southern accent. You know, he's always selling good stuff. Well, anyway, he came out this weekend and said, hey, look, I'm going to sell you a sofa for 250 bucks because I know a bunch of you got displaced. And in one year from now, within one year, when you're ready to move back into your house, you just bring that sofa back and I'll give you 250 bucks towards a, it's like a disposable sofa. And I'm just sitting there and uh, mm. he's like, we'll get through this together. How about that? That was nice. You see it? It still makes me emotional. So I like that. Thank you, Bob Mills. All right. Weekend review. Uh, by the way, it is, we are finishing up week number 25. We are literally almost halfway through the year which seems impossible, but isn't that normal that time just flies by? So this last week, we had Father's Day. Man, when I stop and think about Father's Day, the two words that come to my mind are thankful and uh, responsibility, right? I'm thankful for my dad and all of the things that he's done for me for the years. I mean, generally, he's just, he's, he's the man. Love that guy. Um, can't say thank you enough. Uh, but then also I'm reminded of the responsibility that I have with my kids and I'm thankful that I have that responsibility because it's given me perspective. So love it. Uh, the next one we talked about, know when, uh, know when it's time to move on. Right. Um, and again, the plea is there, make sure you make a wise decision before you shut something down. But at the same time, no, like, and this is from a couple conversations I had, right? People that are struggling with, did I do the right thing? Did I do it, when you get to the point where you realize that you're the one that's given and the person, entity, team, whatever it is, they're taking and not giving, they're sucking the energy out of the relationship, move on, right? And don't feel bad about it. Um, who has it better than us? Remember, we talked about this, the habas, right? Which is which is just fun because of that, right? That, the, that somebody in our circle can't say harbor or harbor without them sounding the same. Haba. It's a haba, Robbie. But uh, all joking aside, literally a, a family that is that accomplished reminds themselves all the time nobody has it better than us, right? And I'm telling you, when I look around, my friends, you know, like my circle, like mm, you could argue like nobody's got better than us. I got a pretty good life. So um, do you remember, right? We talked about how a deal kind of in my in my or my professional life, a deal came back to life. It was asleep, forced me to go through my archives, and there's some perspective for you. I was looking back a year ago, I'm like, whew, man, this is way better, way better. And I would argue that there's no guarantee that it would be way better without daily discipline, right? Um, but yeah, we just have to be, we have to get some perspective and uh, remember where we came from. Thank you next, right? Talking about it when adversity comes, when trials and tribulations come our way. It's easy to be like, oh, God, here they come again. We should be thankful for those. We should embrace it. Like, this is what makes me better. Easier said than done, but we can work on it. And then yesterday we talked about Want Some Chips, the Ja Morant story. Think about that. Think about 
preparing your whole life, even though he's early 20s, late teens, whatever he is. But since he was like a little kid, this is what he was preparing for. It felt like every door was shut to him. But the moment that door was open, and think about the chance of that, right? The guy saying, hey, go around the corner. There's a concession stand. And then the coach uh, going over there and hearing the balls, like, sounds like something's in there. goes in there. Was it locked? I don't know. I feel like that's just the way that it works, right? Like he was, John Morant did his work. He never gave up. And the moment the door was open for him, he's, you know, kick that MF or open. So let's go. It's showtime. Let's bring it. So what else do I got? Doors are opens. Yeah. And just remember that the door <laughs> that we want open for us rarely opens when and where we want. We just have to wait until it's a, and when we'll know. You'll be in that defining moment. You'll know. All right. It is hot, hot, hot here. It was, I will open the door at 530 this morning. I got up 82 degrees outside, right? So it's going to be hot and humid here in Oklahoma. But we've had all of this rain and everything's growing like crazy. So I got to get some more. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. I'll be back tomorrow. Hope to see you back there then too. All right. Love you guys. Have a great Savage Saturday. We'll talk to you later. Bye.